when it comes to choosing a blank, you're going to want to look at just a few different things. Where, who is being used for the demographic, uh, what its intended use is, what the fit is that you want, uh, obviously the feeling, and then like kind of that market, kind of market demographic, all that stuff kind of ties in together. But you want to look at those things in the select. Now, when you get into a demographic, you're going to have a good, better, best model that you can that you can kind of take a look at and you can kind of figure out in that category where you want to go. You know, in the basic category, most people are using Gildan for, for, for a lot of the different things, right? However, there are other brands like Port & Company, which is a Sandmore House brand. There's some other brands that'll make a Gildan quality t-shirt that may be in stock because you can't find it. The pricing may be a little bit better, could be not, you know, it's but it's the same style of shirt. So you can go in that category and then you can find cheaper versions. Yeah. Then you have the next level, which we'll call uh, the, the good, better, best. So that good category, and then you go inside those categories, you can find a good, better, best based on what it is that you want, you know, all of the branding and kind of stuff like that. So if I look at the lowest tier, which is the good, if I go inside of there, I might say champion is a good shirt, right? It may be the good, better, best of that, that, that category based on the fit, based on the feel, and its intended use. If that makes sense. So you can categorize these things a, a, a ton of different ways uh, to figure out what it is. So, you know, brands that I like, you want to talk about the, uh, the cheapest shirt to get started with. If you're just looking for like a, a regular team shirt or everyday shirt that that basic level then you will be looking at something like a gildan or a porting company you want to look at the next uh, the next step up more of a fashion fit you're going to be looking at um something along the lines of belly canvas next level uh circle clothing if you want to go to fleece your fleece has different intended uses. I think Bella has a really, really great fleece. It's super soft. It's more of a, I wouldn't call it a luxury fleece, but it's more like a loungy fleece to me, right? Then you got a circle, which is like what I think is a great all-purpose fleece based on that demographic, right? Demographic that I serve, it's a rugged, it's a fashionable, it's going to last, uh, it, it's got some weight to it. Uh, it's that great tweener. It's not super heavyweight. Then you have somebody like Lane 7, which I just unboxed with my boy yesterday, who has a, if you want something from that category, but, and talking fleece, but you want something unique, you got to use all of these companies is basically what I'm saying. <laughs>